Hi there, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hoping you're having a good math day. Thank you for watching this clip on using Kramer's Rule. Kramer's Rule was named after the, a Swiss, I believe, mathematician. Um, he's a smart dude. Here's a picture of him I printed offline. He got his PhD in mathematics, uh, get this, at age 18 and become a chairperson at a university at age 20. So the smart dude, one of his largest contribution or greatest contribution actually is Kramer's rule. Okay, Kramer's rule says, look, I'm going to rewrite this system of equations by touch taking the coefficients. Let's put the coefficients down here. And I'm going to put the variables here using matrix form. So matrix form says row times column. So you have 5x minus 4y, which is the first one, equal to the solution, which is minus 3 and 6. Okay. So far, nothing spectacular. Now, here's the tricky part. Then he said the variable you're trying to solve is equal to, same thing here, minus 4 and 2. Now, here's the part. You stick the answers in that you try to find, and then leave the Let's call this one system characteristic. You know what? That's boring. Let's call it the mother ship, kind of like a Star Trek. So you leave the mother ship on the bottom, and whatever variable you're trying to find, you stick the seedlings, the answers, in place of the x variables. Okay, so the first column is x. And then all you have to do is find a determinant, which is pretty easy for 2 by 2. Diagonals, which is minus 6, minus 3 times 2 is minus 6, minus off diagonal, that's this direction, minus 6 times minus 4, which is 24. Do the same on the bottom is 10 minus minus 28. And that's the answer. You don't have to do any substitution. You don't have to do the elimination of variables, nothing. Okay, so it's a smart dude to come up with this thing. So x is equal to 18 over 38, or let's simplify into 9 over 19. Okay. Similarly, for y, variable y, you put the mothership on the bottom, nothing changes, minus 4 and 2. And now this time, you're going to leave the first column alone, because this is the x column. Okay. And then you're going to replace the answer column back into the position for y. Not too different from what I'm doing in my garden. It's springtime in Arizona, and we have a warm 78 degrees. So I put in a lot of seedlings for pansies, and let's see what else I put over the weekend. I put in 21 cypress trees. That was a lot of digging. Anyway, so back over here, we have 30 minus 3 times 7, which is I missed the minus sign here. Hopefully you can see it. 30 minus minus 21. And then on the bottom, I don't have to do anything else other than just copy what I had the first time. Hopefully you didn't make any mistakes, which I'm hoping I didn't. Okay, so 38 is on the bottom and the top it's 51. Okay, so once again, Kramer left a pretty big gift for us. It says, hey, if you have a system of equations, grab the answer column and stick it in whatever variable you're trying to solve and leave the mothership on the bottom. Don't touch it. All right, hope it's clear. Again, it's from uh, Tucson, Arizona. This is Dr. Pan. Hope this video has been useful and helpful for you. We appreciate a comment or a thumb up or any other questions you might have. Until next time, have a confident day.